How are you? I'm fine. How are you? Peachy. Good. We're good. How's the how's the now little toddler doing? Yeah, she's it's so exciting this age. Uh, you know, she's like chatting, she's speaking three languages and she's just talking nonstop and yeah, yeah. You have a you have a kid, right? Yeah, you you had a kid uh just a few months right after my wife gave birth uh to to our to our first as well. So um or oh, yeah. basically almost at the same stage so it's a wonderful yeah. crazy stage it's wonderful though <laughs> yeah yeah thank god it, it gets good yeah because the first yeah. six months like a truck hits you and you don't know what happened <laughs> <laughs> absolutely well thank you so much for joining we've been wanting to talk to you for a long long time uh our channel originally started with uh gully boy we reacted to the trailer and that's kind of how our channel almost took off uh because we wrecked the trailer and so that was one of the first things we saw you and then we saw you obviously in in um uh, margarita the straw death in the gun sacred games made in heaven all these other things now waiting as well um but uh so we've been wanting to talk to you for a long time uh and so uh, i just wanted to right off the bat first ask why acting <laughs> i don't know because like how do you stay sane if you don't have somewhere to like get all your emotions out. <laughs> I really, I really, I mean, I'm joking, but I'm also like, I think acting is therapy. It's really a, an amazing way to kind of get in touch with everything that's going on inside. And, you know, the more we look at others, the better we get to know ourselves, I really believe. So, yeah. What, what was it that, caused you to because I believe at one point if I'm understanding correctly your career pursuits were going to possibly go into the realm of psychology is that right oh no that was just someone who asked me if I wasn't going to be an actor what would I be and oh what I would you I, be okay yeah and I had said I, I, criminal psychology but yeah yeah but no it was always acting no, I know. Yeah, I think I, I also don't know if I'm smart enough for criminal psychology. <laughs> I think I work uh, uh, academically a lot harder. <laughs> uh, and so as, as an actor, what is one of the first things when you are looking at presumptive scripts to, to, to do? What, what is one of the first things that you look for in a, in a script as an actor? Um... It's very instinctual, you know, mm -hmm. I don't think there's one particular thing. If I read a script in one go and it really grabs me and I have a lot of questions at the end and I start Googling the subject, that's, these are all good signs. You know, if I'm like checking my phone in between or I have to go get a cup of tea, then that's not such a good sign. It's really very, the first read is just very instinctual. Then there's all the other weighing options of, you know, yeah. have you done something like this before? How good is mm -hmm. the production? All of those things. Yeah. Right, right, right. And I would assume that there's probably times where you would absolutely agree to be on a project simply because of who you know you're collaborating with even though you don't particularly have the script in hand yet or do you always wait and make sure you've seen the script first i haven't had a situation where that's happened but of course i've said to people like vishal bhargaj that i'll work with you whatever <laughs> if you make it covered in the corner so yeah. yeah of course i think there are people that you would trust just because of their body of work but i haven't had that happened. I have mm -hmm. had that uh, we've completely revised and changed the script at the last mm -hmm. minute. Sure. But yeah, always had something yeah. to read. Yeah, 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 yeah. I saw in an interview that you said um, that you, somebody asked you if you um, had any regrets and you said some film choice, obviously you didn't mention which films, obviously. And you said sometimes, yeah. you know, by basically day two or three, if this film is going to be shit or not. Uh, and so <laughs> how, how do you, knowing that at the time, continue, is it just because obviously you're a good professional? Uh, and then how also do you, when 
months later or years later when you have to do promotion for a film that you don't believe in <laughs> how hard is that <laughs> yeah 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 it's hard to come up with an excuse why you can't be at the promotions but then it's fine <laughs> yeah. I I don't yeah I I I mean of course sometimes you you just have to do it because you're you're in it you've got you've signed the contract and I, I mean yeah but I yeah there's really there's really very little way of knowing sometimes especially with a new director and a, a new script you know like a new production house you just you really don't know um from just the script you know because it's such a collaborative process there's so many people involved that you can have a quite a fantastic script and still find yourself in a situation where no one has a clue what they're doing on set and yeah 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 so and as a as a creative person because i mean everyone who knows you or takes a quick look at what you do recognizes that you are a creative that it's not just acting in which that your artistry comes out. It comes out in writing, it comes out in directing, it comes out in spoken word things that you do. It comes out in activism that you do. Uh, how, now that you're also a mom, uh, how challenging is it to balance all of those things? Or do you just find it easy because you go with the flow at whatever time is, is going on? Um, well, I think that I was really, I mean, the timing of having a baby and then going into lockdown was kind of perfect. I'm mm -hmm. not that I'm talking about going through a pandemic, but you know, <laughs> it just gave us that time off. I agree. To I agree. Babies and handle it and like not have to deal with these impossible <laughs> choices of whether you right. want to go with your child or go to work. Um, I did write a book in that time though. I wrote mm -hmm. a comic book on motherhood, which kind of kept me again sane. It was like a, almost like a therapy to just, you know, plow through everything that I was going through and put it into, into some form. Mm -hmm. um, so I, it kept me in touch with stuff, but yeah, I don't, I am definitely taking up less work now as a mom. Uh, I'm much more picky and I want to have gaps between, like before it was just back to back and now I want those mm. gaps in between. Um, but yeah, you know, it's, yeah, it's just another avatar. Like, you know, you take baby and writing and doing something else and yep. learning, it's all learning. Yeah. Um, my wife is uh, had ordered your book, uh, actually, before we even knew we were going to be able to talk to you. Uh, she's been very excited about your book. Uh, that, that She's wanted to read it for a long, long time. And now that it was available in America, she finally was able to pre-order pre it a while ago. Uh, yeah, so she, she's very excited to read it. Um, but uh, I wanted to ask, have you noticed since you became a mom, has that... Um, affected or changed your choices at all, as all as an actor? Oh, yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, in the, I don't know. I don't know. I think... I know scheduling-wise, but I'm talking like the, the, the choices yeah, that you decide. Yeah, the, the creative <laughs> choice, right? Yeah. yeah, I mean, I think I'm just... Yeah, I think I'm just... I don't know if it's to do with motherhood or not, but I, I'm definitely... Um, like kind of bored with the same stuff that keeps coming my way. Like I keep getting asked by people like, oh, ma'am, you love this character. She's so feminist. She's divorced and she drinks vodka. Um, <laughs> you know, oh, ma'am, this character, she's a complete psychopath. So, you know, I'm kind of like really tired of hearing those phrases where, <laughs> you know, just a wild girl or a crazy girl is like a drinks vodka, you know, right. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. I guess I'm I'm looking for something a little more like earthy and and or even comic or you mm -hmm. know lighthearted. But but yeah. So I, I don't know exactly what it is and if it's to do with mm -hmm. motherhood or maybe just you know maturity. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, th this question I have then actually stems somewhat into process that you would use as an as an actor, and I wonder um, how much 
since you've uh, been a mom and now you have done some acting since you have been a mom, have you found that there is a, for lack of a better term, a whole new world of things that you access emotionally when you're, even if the character is not a mom, is that, have you noticed any difference in your acting process now that you're a mom or is it pretty much unchanged and it's just part of your life now? I think that you just, anyway, as a mother, you're kind of um, extremely alert. You have to be on your toes all the time. You know, mm -hmm. like in the middle of the night, it's the smallest change in breath of my child mm -hmm. and I'm awake, you know, like you, <laughs> you have some yep. secondary like mm -hmm. switch that comes on. And, um, and I think that that kind of stayed and so when I'm on, uh, you know, when I'm acting, I feel like I'm much more ready um, mm. with whatever comes from any direction. Before it was kind of like, I don't know, you just, you know your lines, you're gonna say them, uh, don't bump into the furniture or whatever. But now it's, uh, oh, you hear a sound outside and maybe that's gonna affect the way you say it. And so, yeah, it seems to be like there's this yeah. extra vision, <laughs> extra, you know, um, yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, so I know you've talked extensively it, it seems like almost every interview had asked you uh, about being somebody who has white skin but obviously is is Indian um, and and working and and how people accepted that obviously you you grew up in Tamil uh, Nadu right uh, yeah. Cherry, right yeah. Um, yeah but how how was it difficult for like let's say the Hindi industry to accept you and to not give you just stereotypical because we complain about white people in, in Indian cinema all the time, all the time. <laughs> <laughs> obviously, what's wonderful, obviously, about you is obviously you don't play any of those roles. You play Indian roles. Um, you just yeah. happen to not look like everyone else. Um, so was it difficult to for like the industries to realize you're you're just you're just an Indian who looks different um, as everybody else to give you these normal roles? How long did it take for them uh -huh. to, to realize that? Yeah, yeah. So my first film, Devdi, um, I yeah. played a prostitute. And mm -hmm. after that was an article that came out about um, how I was Russian uh, <laughs> and that I, you know, uh, I didn't need to act to play this role. It was really a very scathing, horrible, wow, like, horrible thing. Yeah. And I was really like, you know, my I was just fresh in, in this industry and I didn't know that people can just make things up and no one can do anything about it. And, and so I remember that, that feeling of like, no, no, you got, you know, why can't I talk to you? Why, why, you know, so I remember that frustration. Um, and of course, over time, people have heard me uh, talk about my background and all of that and have started accepting my Indianness. Um, <laughs> But yeah, it's, you know, it is frustrating and it's something I have to make peace with. I mean, I cannot play like, you know, a, a small rural tribal village person. I don't have the right look for it. And yeah, you know, I, I have to work within my limits of what I can do uh, with my physical appearance. So I guess everybody has that one way or the other. Did you find after Dev D, was there, did it take a while for people to accept you as the fact that, hey, yo, guys, I'm Indian? Or did it actually yeah. happen? It, did it take a while? It did take a while. It took a yeah. while. It took a few years, I think. Um, I went back to doing a lot of theater after Dev D, mm -hmm. and it took a while to get some cinema work. But the first film that really kind of broke through was Ye Jivani Hai Divani, where yep. I play this role of Aditi and there's no, I mean, my director didn't bother to like, you know, color my hair black or, you know, try and make me look more Indian. He just, mm. he was like, you look lovely like this. We want you like this, but you're Aditi and you're from Bombay. And, mm. and it was a huge hit and the film was, you know, really well accepted and this character was really well loved. So. Yeah, that was that was the point where it changed. Yeah, what what do you look for um, in a director actor relationship? 
Uh, not a husband. <laughs> <laughs> nice, nice, nice. Not anymore. <laughs> no, no, no. I mean, nice. I, yeah. We, me and Anurag are still good friends, so we, we can show, joke about it now. But yeah, um, yeah. yeah I think uh, what I look for is uh, collaboration as much as possible and workshopping. I mean, I'm, I'm really interested in, in prepping before the role. And a lot of times in films, in, in India at least, in our industry, it's just like get on the floor as fast as possible and there's no time to prepare. So I'm, I'm all about like, doing workshops and preparing and meeting your, you know, husband on screen, but, you know, before you actually have to shoot the love scene. Yeah, sure, it would sure, be nice. sure. Did you get to, I would, I would hope and expect this, but I'm not going to make an assumption, you know, considering that you worked with Nasiruddin, who is a grand thespian, did you, did you get to have time where you got to work that? Because it feels so much like a play throughout the film. Yeah. I'm I'm ex I'm anticipating you guys did get to do that workshopping. Talking about waiting in uh, in waiting yeah. in waiting. We actually did a lot of readings. We didn't do any workshopping. Okay. Because I think Nasir is just too experienced for workshops. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> Not a surprise. <laughs> yeah. But um, but we did do a lot of readings, and we had a lot of time when we were in Kerala on the on location. You know, we we spent. Because there was also another track going on with Rajat's character and stuff, so we had a lot of time where we would sit and work out the scenes, and we did improvise around the lines and, and things like that. Yeah. 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 I mean, you've worked with a whole bunch of people that are we've got the pleasure of being able to talk to, but we we consider some of the best actors in 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 the world, really. Um, but what was it? What was it like being able to like, specifically on waiting work with? Uh, this, was this the second time? Had, did you were you able to work with him on the the, the Deborah in yellow? Book. Yellow, okay. With, yeah, Nasir, you're talking about yeah. Nasir, yeah. Yeah yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I worked with him on on that girl in yellow boots, yeah, as well. Which, right. Yeah, what, what's it? What's it like working with uh, working with a legend like that? Well, I, I'm glad I got to do it twice because the first time was, I was a mess. I was so nervous around him and he was improvising like crazy in Hindi and my Hindi is really shit. At yeah. least it was there. And so yeah. I was really like, oh my God, what am I doing here? And I couldn't look him in the eyes. And every time I looked him in the eyes, I, I forgot my lines. <laughs> and that's, thankfully, the, the director was my husband, so he didn't fire me. But, you know, it was really, really hard. <laughs> first time around but the second time around I think I was you know I I had done a lot more work and I'd also met Nasir a few times and mm. you know watched his plays and yeah it was it was fun it was exciting to be there with him and 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 improvise and do that work so yeah I'm glad I got the second chance yeah yeah and have you had an opportunity to to work with him on stage yet live for a play no no uh, we came close he was directing a play called the father and we came close but i had some other shoots going on so i couldn't i couldn't do it but i'd love to I'd love olivia to. coleman's father the, the father that one yeah yeah the one about oh the, my goodness when you would have played it yeah, and you would have played Olivia yeah. Coleman's character. Yeah. I oh, that would have been amazing. We would. That would be fantastic to see you two do. Oh, that would have been amazing. That's uh, it, so sad. <laughs> Hopefully, one day we'll be able to see you guys on yeah, stage again. I, I, I think that would be amazing. The same. I'm not sure, but it is about him losing his memory, right? Yeah. Yeah. Correct. Yeah, okay. Absolutely. Um, so I, I, I heard you talk about um, on Margarita with a Straw, which obviously is an amazing performance of yours. I'm sure. You hear that all the time because it's true. Um, mm -hmm. But I heard that like when you were preparing for that, it the director didn't want you working on anything else, and y'all get just got to focus on this character for what a good six months or so, correct? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Something. Yeah. Do you do you like that intensive process mm -hmm. uh, as an actor working on something for that long, or do you prefer shorter stents to where you can? delve deep and then kind of cut it off 
I loved it. I really loved it. I wish we got that kind of time every time because you just, your whole body transforms. You start building a language and of its own. You know, um, you are, I was, I was in character during shoot all the time. So even mm -hmm. if I was on a lunch break or I needed to go to the loo, I stayed in character and, and it just made it, I mean, it just became so much more organic. I didn't have to think about what this character will do. It just became automatic. So much so that when I finished the role and I went on, I, I think I had a play going on and I, I was having trouble just getting rid of Layla, you know? I was like, mm -hmm. oh my God, I, I don't have cerebral palsy and yeah. I can, you know, I have to perform. So it, it was a very strange feeling. Of course, it was really intense, grueling. And I had to start actually taking swimming. Um, I had to start doing swimming in between because my back started getting really um, oh. a, a, pain, like a lot of pain from the, the way that I was twisting and sitting all day. Yeah. So I had started doing um, swimming classes, not swimming classes, but just swimming as, as, as physio. Um, uh, and, and yeah, and then I, after I finished, I remember just being very relieved that it was done um, mm. because it was it was quite quite an exhausting process as well yeah i'm sure and obviously the process for a character like that is going to be very different because you are incorporating the physicality of the character and i'm not surprised that it was the way you're describing it is the process this pretty much the same for you with each character or have you found that they take on a life of their own and it's just it depending upon the character it's a different way you go about portraying the character yeah it's always different i never know what process i'm going to use i mean i think with margarita it was very method and staying mm -hmm. in the character mm -hmm. um some characters i don't do any work mm -hmm. on it's just like go there and see what happens and yeah, then sure. there's, there's some which which yeah you just have to be more spontaneous you need to be so it, rather than like sort of thinking about the character i would just you know play pranks on set or or do things you know because the character is such you know uh, like aditi so you know would always be you know joking around even when we're off off screen so i don't know it's just it really depends what what each character needs and yeah and sometimes you yeah you just can't you can't predict what happens on each day forget just character like you know the weather that day can change the way you act everything everything is like a kind of a stimulus for, for the way you're going to perform definitely sure. your co-actor and how they react absolutely yeah. yeah yeah uh and so on characters like in margarita star or other intensive characters that you'd have to play um what's the first uh because some people try to find the voice of a character first and that's when they that's where they start their process do you start in a certain way do you try to find the voice the walk the in, in, anything like that um it's not usually the voice of the walk it's actually very simply clothes like a mm -hmm. costume um yeah. sometimes i just really overdress the character uh how they mm -hmm. would dress and get get and make it a just a little game like do it in my daily life when i'm yeah. just going for a meeting or whatever and um and see how people react to me when i'm like that or you know and kind of play off play off others really they're they're uh, yeah they're the yeah. inspiration who who would be some of the actors or actresses throughout your life whether it was when you were younger or currently right now and they could be the same people who are the actors that have inspired you the most and have made you want to get even more into the craft and just love their work? Wow. Um, growing up, I was I was a big admirer of Taboo's work and mm -hmm. um, Nan's work, Konkana Sen Sharma, and mm -hmm. in in the international kind of scene uh what who are uh, Juliette Binoche mm. uh, and of course Meryl Streep um and 
yeah, I'm thinking there's so many people, but now I'm just, uh, you know, Daniel Day Lewis. Uh, yeah, there are there are many many good actors out there. <laughs> yeah. uh, what is one thing you would love to change about, let's say, the Hindi film industry? I think. I think the the writing. I mean, we have very few good writers, and what tends to happen on most virtually every script, almost every script, is that we just adapt the lines and change the lines, uh, and you know, kind of improvise around the lines. But we mm -hmm. never, you know, like when you re, you know, when you do a play, especially like a Shakespeare. You, you don't change the lines. You just say what I would hope not. <laughs> <laughs> you to the dot, you yes. know, the semicolon, everything. So yeah. so I want I would love to respect the script that much. And yeah. I feel there isn't that kind of respect for scripts here. Um, and there are a you know, uh, now with the um, OTT platforms like the uh, this the web yeah. series and the there are like much more interesting uh, writers coming along, but yeah. they're usually not paid, paid enough um, to do a good good enough job or, or not paid over a long period of time, you know, because you need to like fine tune something. Yeah. Sure, sure. What would be, I mean, it's a two part question, simple. What's your favorite thing about acting? If you can pick one or two and what's your least favorite thing about acting? Uh, so my favorite thing about acting is that you you can always be surprised. Um, you could be doing the same play over and over. I've done hundreds of shows of some plays and you still find something new. Um, that for me is, is amazing. And the second revelation that I've found as an actor is instead of fighting the energy you have of that day, like I used to be like, oh, but this character is excited and I'm really tired today, but I've got to get into the excited mood, you know, to play mm -hmm. this character. Mm -hmm. But instead of that, like accepting your body, what it's going through that day and still playing the character, because that character is allowed to be tired as well, mm -hmm. even right. if it's an excited character. And that was a revelation I loved when it mm -hmm. happened to me, you know? Yeah. Um, and um, the what? The worst least, thing about acting? Least favorite, yeah, your least favorite least thing about favorite being an thing actor. About acting? Uh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> it's harder. Um, <laughs> I love it. Uh, yeah, not knowing when your next job is, not knowing, uh, you know, sometimes yeah. <laughs> you have everything coming together at the same time, 10 sure. things, and you can't handle all of them, and you, uh, and then other times you have nothing, and it's a desert for. Mm -hmm months yeah. yeah yeah uh so obviously as you talked about you've done a, at least a few now uh ott series uh, in sacred games or made in heaven or uh, other ones like that um which you were fantastic in both and you got to act with so many great actors in those um do you like the direction that ott is heading in, in uh, uh telling new different stories um and also actors who aren't the stereotypical big Shah Rukh Khan style of stars yes. getting to star yes. in these these OTT platforms like a Pankaj or Nawaz or Jim and yourself and Sarbita uh, and all yeah. those. Do you, do you like do you like the direction that that's heading? Yeah, for sure. It's so nice. I mean, it's wonderful for everyone, for actors, for crew members, writers, uh, musicians, everyone is getting like to do stuff that you know, otherwise you were kind of like just doing the same thing over and over. So it's definitely open, opened up creativity in an amazing way. Yeah, no what doubt. Do you, do you, what do you think is the biggest but difference also, between- But also OT terrible, terrible OT. I have to say, to yeah. every yes I say on an OTT platform, there's about 10 no's. Oh. So <laughs> there are so many bad scripts out there that are being made for like, mm -hmm. you know, new platforms and, you know, everyone wants to make something now. And yep. so it's also like a free for all. Yeah. yeah. What's the biggest difference do you think in OTT versus film? 
in India? Um, or is there a difference at all in terms of no, no, there's what a you huge do? difference. Um, yeah. it's, it's, it's the audience, right? So um, in OTT platforms, we, we you, you're depending a lot more on an urban audience, um, mm. you know, and so you can kind of really um, not, you don't need to spoon feed the audience. Whereas I think with, with cinema here, it's such a family occasion that most films want to be very, very PG. Um, and they don't want to, you know, go to any sort of slightly, you know, sexual content or, or, or political content. Um, and also the, the, the songs, right? So it's, it's like a, it's mm -hmm. an event of three hours. And you know they've got to like you've got to make it with full of full of these items or songs in them and and yeah that that I think is gone in OTTs you know you can just make a very real kind of story. Yeah, yeah. I ask this question of all actors because I find they all have a very similar answer. Being someone who loves theater and fully is aware of the fact that that is an actor's medium and that film is the director's medium. Do you have a preference of the mediums? Do you prefer stage? Do you prefer film? Do you prefer working on a TV series as an actress? I mean, you know, I suppose that if the paycheck was the same for theater, I would do a, a lot more theater. <laughs> <laughs> I think most um, actors would agree with you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, because there's yeah. something really magical about the live audience and, and feeding mm -hmm. off that and, and the applause, not just the applause, but every sigh, every moment they, they're with you in an emotion, you really feel the energy in the room. And, mm. and this is the only reason, I mean, I'm not religious, but this is the only reason I believe there's more to life than this, because you, you literally feel an energy mm. um, in the room. And that's a, a, a magical. Um, but having said that, you know, the kind of detailing that I've gotten to do in cinema, um, you know, it, it, it's, it's, it's too, very different processes. Um, and I, I love exploring them both. It's like, I don't, I don't, I don't want to choose, it's like mom and yeah. dad. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so you talked about doing the, the um, big Bollywood numbers. Uh, and I wanted to ask you about that um, because it's obviously something so different than um, what we have here. Obviously we have musicals, but those are a little different. Uh, than, yeah. than what uh, they have in yeah, the, uh, the in, musical. <laughs> uh, is it ever awkward doing these big Bollywood numbers uh, in character? Does it ever feel weird or does it just feel like a big uh, Broadway show doing them? Um, I mean, I, I'm a terrible dancer. So it's a real, it's just a real effort for me to mm. like get, you know, those steps right. And I always feel like, you know, I'm slightly like half a second behind everybody else uh, when we're dancing. Um, yeah. yeah, and I'm like trying to hide behind another actor so that they don't <laughs> see So I have that problem. But, um, you know, I, I don't think so. I think that, you know, it's okay to be over the top. It's a form of acting. It's a different yeah. style. And you still have to find a, a way to make it ring true. Um, and, and yeah, I, 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 it's hard. It's hard for me to mm -hmm. do it, but I do love the challenge of it as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Corbin and I, as actors, when you watch another actor do great work, you not only are inspired by it simply for the greatness you're watching, but it, your thoughts are, I would love to work with that particular artist and you have worked with some amazing artists but my question is is there anybody you've yet to work with that you really want to work with oh yeah <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah yeah who do i want to work with i want to work with um besides michelle what do you want to know i mean <laughs> i mean yeah what what did you say I said besides Vishal, but obviously he's not an actor. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, 
No, I mean all the obviously all the names I've I've said already, like Juliette Pinoche, and mm-hmm. uh, I would love to work with. Uh, but I think uh, closer to home, um, I, I have to think. Hang on, sorry guys. I'm just, You've worked no with worries. a lot of the great ones already. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah. No, I'd love to work with Rasika. Rasika mm-hmm. Dawal, she's amazing. Yes, she um, is. Dope. I would love to work with. Uh, gosh, why am I going so blank? I'm sorry. Because you've worked with all of them already. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, there are, there are, there are more. Okay, let's get them back to the special. Okay, okay for no sure. worries, no worries, uh, no worries. And so, on working is—is is that something one? Well, after you've looked into the script and you decide it's a good script, is that one of the next things you look for? Is the people involved, not only the director but the actors? And these actors, how is it working with people like that, with like um, uh, Nasser, the Pankaj, Nawaz, people of, of, of that thespianatic ilk? Um, is it freeing as an actor to like when you when you see on the script uh, on the on the call sheet that day that you're going to be doing this scene? Is it freeing as an actor knowing that your partner is literally just going to give you everything you need? Yeah, of course, it's <laughs> very exciting. It's yeah. very good. I mean, because actually you don't need to do much. You just need to react. So yep. it's, it's wonderful if, they, if you have somebody who, who's giving in that way and, and really like playing off each other. Mm-hmm. Um, it can be intimidating as well. Yeah. If it's someone really famous and really, you know, with a great reputation or, or sometimes they have a really difficult reputation, but they're mm-hmm. a really good actor. So mm-hmm. yeah, it's all good things. Is there any advice you would give to yourself if you had the opportunity to talk to yourself when you were about 14 or 15? Ooh. Um, I would say it's really okay to be different and it's okay mm. to like, you know, you don't need to fit in. Uh, mm. I think I think when I was fifteen, it was very important for me to fit in. And mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. Now it's so, it's really like everybody's trying not to fit in. Everyone wants to be like special. So. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, well, I want to thank you so much for for chatting with us. I'm gonna I want to end it off here, uh, if we can, with a little bit of rapid fire uh you you know who we're stealing this from uh but uh, <laughs> <laughs> not asking those questions uh i got my own kind of questions here so you can just answer these however you'd like what do you think is your toughest role uh margarita with a straw was the toughest yeah mm. have you ever been high or drunk during an interview or a press junket no but i have been while i've acted <laughs> that, was quite, that was quite scary <laughs> <laughs> i will not say when and where and, and with no words. <laughs> <That's all right. laughs> uh, favorite curse word in hindi or tamil <laughs> one thing uh you you wish you were told before becoming a parent Mm. oh wow yeah i i wish they would have told us that you know you get hit by a truck for for the first six months Mm. you know just prepare yourself for a tough 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 dive absolutely uh a film you feel is overrated um overrated gosh i haven't seen anything in recent times didn't have to be recent okay okay film that was overrated gosh bollywood or hollywood anything doesn't doesn't matter i think titanic's overrated but (laughs) titanic oh i cried so much i was was (laughs) weeping during titanic me too Um, (laughs) 
um, I don't know. I'm trying to think. I really can't think of anything. Why am I so blank? Uh, no worries. What was the, okay, what was the last like big film that came out? Oh, I know the Superman. Superman. Su uh, Batman. Spider. Spider Man. Spider -Man. Oh, Spider -Man. Yeah. Not no, not the one that came out just now. The one before that. The one where um, they Jonah? had all those. Yeah, where he was mm. playing the bad guy. That one gotcha. was really disappointing. Yeah. Yeah. Gotcha. Favorite alcoholic beverage. Um, at the moment, I'm really enjoying meads. I'm drinking. Uh, Ooh, nice. Meads. Yeah, honey based. As an, as an Irish man, I appreciate that. Uh, ah. The thing that is shouted at you the most. That is shouted at me the most. Like when people come up to you, what do they say to you the most? Like, oh, do, like, they, like, do they quote something yeah, at you? Like a fan do, quoting yeah. something or calling you by a character name? Oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, Reese, uh, I live in a, in a slum, so uh, Gully Boy is really big there. I live yeah. literally outside of a slum yeah. and everybody's wearing the t-shirt. So yeah, right. they just they like, Gully Boy, Gully Boy. And then, yeah, <laughs> they come rapping to me and everything. <laughs> um favorite uh favorite actor uh, favorite actor gosh these are really hard <laughs> <laughs> challenging questions i know i'm um, sorry yeah <laughs> um i like ryan gosling yeah gotcha. and favorite actors uh, Michelle Williams, I like her. Nice. I like many actors. It's very yeah. hard to say one favorite. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Uh, favorite director? Um, Hollywood, mm, India, Indian film industry, doesn't matter. Mm, mm, wow. I'm trying to think. Or just a couple that you... That yeah, you at least appreciate. one. Like, if you see a director has attached to a film, you immediately just assume, I've got to go see their movie because they directed it. Um, in in Bollywood, it's Debaka Banerjee. I've worked with him as well, but mm. I just love everything he does. Um, in Hollywood... Probably, uh, oh, Terrence Malick. I like his stuff mm. a lot. Mm. Okay. Yeah. Um, but this, yeah, this, yeah, yeah. I don't know why. So many, yeah. I, I think it's just it's favorite, the mommy brain. Yeah. Favorite Indian film, any any region. Favorite Indian film. Could be old, could mm. be new, could be anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I'm thinking of Piazza. Uh, yeah, that's a great one. Yeah, yeah I love I think, it. I think we have that one up here somewhere. Uh, and uh, last one, if you could uh, take an acting class slash workshop with one person, dead or alive, who would you take that class from? Anthony Hopkins. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Well, of course. Well, thank you so much for for talking to us. Uh, it's it's been an absolute pleasure. Uh, we've we wanted to talk to you. We so appreciate your talent uh, and and the choices that you decide to make. Uh, we think you're one of the the the, the best actors acting um, and and we really appreciate how much you appreciate the craft and the the amount of effort that you put in um, and so thank you for that and also thank you for talking to us Rick yeah thank uh, you I when Corbin mentioned this at the beginning Gully Boy was our introduction we had never set out to do a channel that was based on Indian content we were actors who were in love with film and we were talking about American cinema and a subscriber just happened to say react to Gully Boy the trailer and we knew nothing we had the 
perfect stereotype of most Americans about Bollywood and Indian cinema and the trailer blew us away. And then when we saw the film, to say that Gully Boy has been life-changing for us, I mean, I've, this, is, this is inked on my arm. Wow. Yeah. Uh, uh, oh, wow. Yeah. And, and that, that, is, that is because from day one, that film and all of the artists, you, Ranveer, Alia, and the whole cast, Zoya's direction was literally life-changing for us, not just in the life of our channel, but in our understanding and appreciation of the greatness of the level of artistry coming out of India. And you know, it's, Corbin, we have wanted to talk to you for so long because at the core of this, we're actors who want to see the best in this industry elevated and talk to them and hear where they come from. So you are truly for us, not just in Indian cinema, you are for us one of our favorite actors anywhere in the world. And we're really thankful you spent time with us today. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> yeah. It was wonderful you. talking to you. Had to have a wonderful night. Thank you, both of you. Thank you so much. Pleasure talking to you and uh, you too. Corbin, for some reason now, I always think of uh, that Bruce Willis film uh, because of your name. Corbin, Corbin Dallas. Corbin Dallas. Corbin yeah. Dallas. <laughs> that would be funny. That's, that's very common. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, no worries. No worries. But, uh, Have a great but day. But great to meet you guys. And you too. Thank you so much. Of course. Right. Of course. Wish you the best. Thank you. Bye. Bye.